For more information about this program, visit changeyoucansee.com and click on Feature of the Week. Now, our next story is about a father and son who are art dealers. They have a passion for fine art, a desire to share it with others, and plans on the drawing board to make it a family business for generations to come. Just arrived from Paris. My name is Jamani Anamdi, director here at Jair Anamdi Gallery. I am the second generation here. My father started in 81, and it was his whole philosophy was the cultivation of culture and of really bringing art to the people so that they can understand a sense of their own history through the arts. Frank Bowen, he's originally from Guyana. He lives between London and um, Brooklyn right now. I got into the business in 97 when I graduated from Morehouse. My father tells the story how he didn't know I was going to be in the art business. We were going to the graduation, and we looked at the graduation book, and under his picture, they asked, what are you going to do next? Unbeknownst to me and his mother, he says, I'm going to Chicago and work in GR Namdi Gallery. We're going to go back to Paris and talk to Vicente and see about getting a body of works there. And while we're there, probably go to uh, London. And Namdi was the name that my parents chose when they got married. So it's my name, uh, and it means father's name lives on. So that's kind of what you try to live by, you know. And also, uh, I'll tell you one thing my father always says. He always says, don't reinvent the wheel. Now, in terms of family businesses continuing to, to grow and evolve, and my thing has always been just put some rims on it, you know. Keep trying to make it better. I'm looking at him saying, you don't need those rims, by the way. It's like, <laughs> you know. But again, I'm yesterday, and he's today and tomorrow. What I like to do with the younger generation, or my generation, really, is I, I really want them to have the experience of getting into collecting as early as possible. Not only are we talking about collecting art, but I'm talking to a group of my peers. But what I try to do with the younger generation is get into their life early, so that 20 years from now, they have 20 pieces. Because I collect art personally myself. Cultivate your culture through the arts. So with the Urban League, the, the Metro Board was an organization I joined when I first moved to Chicago. And I've always had events here for them, just giving people the opportunity. They think I'm just giving them the gallery, but I'm really also, it's important for them just to be around art. So going to a gallery is not a big deal. It just becomes part of their lifestyle. The art business is not just a lifestyle for father and son, but a true family affair. Jumani's wife, Jackie, is director of marketing and programming for the gallery. We need to send out another communication to them to let them know that... My father-in-law is a psychologist, and it, based on his clinical research, he correlated positive mental health with art appreciation and living with art. One of our initiatives at GRNM de Gallery is we've recently founded the Collectors Club. What we did was we said we have to have some parties so we can get it together. Mm -hmm. The Collectors Club is a forum for collectors to engage in the arts and also to socialize. We got an outdoor sculpture garden. Giving the collectors opportunities to meet the different artists in person and to um, just really take it to their understanding and appreciation of the arts to the next level. We do collector club events, not only at the gallery or at our home, but at collector's homes as well. And James and Mary Bell are amazing collectors of African-American art and supporters of the art community in Chicago. We can probably put the Ed Clark there, because then you'll get the whole feeling of the brush stroke and the sweep that he does with the push broom. You think so? I think so. I think it'll look great against the red wall here. The thing about African-American art, it, it tells the story of our histories. You know, I think it helps to share what our history is, but more importantly, it shares how proud we are of our history. I think that when you start looking at large corporations, there's clearly not that many opportunities for us to establish a legacy. But when you start a small business and you grow it and you get your children involved in it, I think you have a real chance for having something that's sustainable and then really goes down as a legacy for your family. My hopes and dreams for the family business, in this gallery, just continuing the business and having something that, for one, my father can retire from, something I can retire from, the same way we're preserving art 
for culture's sake, I want to preserve business for family's sake. So that's what I'm working on.